Okay, an actual training video from the Bonnie Lane Club. Some information rather than just goofing around. But hey, this is about chin-ups. A while ago I did a video about advanced pull-ups. Today, just a short video about the best way to go from being able to do zero pull-ups to being able to do a few. And then from there, once you can do a few, you can build on it, right? But if you can't do any pull-ups, the popular thing to do is go to the gym to do the machine that like assists your feet and there's a weight stack in front of you and the, the counterbalance of it kind of pushes you up, right? That's one thing to do. Another thing to do is like offload some of your body weight with a, a, a thick band or some thick tubing hanging from the bar. And that kind of like slingshots you up. When you go down, the thing stretches and then it kind of pushes you up. It takes some of your body weight away. And um, let me tell you, like I've seen people doing the, that, that sort of thing for a while. It can work, but in my opinion, it's definitely not the best way to do it. There are better ways. Um, that takes a long time. Um, sometimes it doesn't work at all, um, or it helps minimally. But I will say this, like to get at your pull-ups and practice these few little things very frequently is important. One day a week won't do it. Two days a week, ah, eh, not really. But if you can do it every other day, or almost every day, initially, that's how you can really build. If you have just a pull-up bar, something at your house that's ideal because you can get to it frequently and then just rest um, you don't have to burn yourself out with really really super grueling tiring workouts but if you can't do one pull up get to a bar that no assistance no help and just work on most people are a little bit stronger here than here so just work on keeping all this engaged your shoulders slightly bent elbows slightly bent and then just do a hard ab contraction and hold your feet out in front and just work on holding that. Hold, hold, hold. Because what that does is it gets your core, your core muscles through here are important. Shoulder blade muscles, biceps, and especially your grip. It gets your grip used to dealing with your body weight. And that's a huge part of pull-ups that um, a lot of people have very poor grip strength. And you just don't get it when you're doing the slingshot technique. All right, so that's one thing to do. You may be able to hold 20 seconds and then down. And you would do three or four of those and you're done for the day. That's it. Um, if you can, you know, not do 20 seconds, you do whatever time you can in a safe manner. If you can get up to 30, 35, 40 seconds, then I'd say you should go on to step two, right? Step two would be find a way to help yourself up, right? So don't try to do a pull up from here, right? Try to find a bench or a step stool or a chair and look, start here guys, right? And then hang and go down slow, slow 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 so that's one way you can do it an even better thing to do is help yourself up and then do like a tiny little rep and get back up and then go slow 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 all the way down right if you did four or six or eight of those depending on how hard they are that would be a good day of work you're done but again help yourself up there and then feet off don't swing do a little one and then slow 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 They'll be tiring, They'll, those will be tough. And then of course on your off days, if you have access to a lat pull down, if you have access to like just dumbbells doing like lawnmower rows, those help your grip and help your core stability. Not the same as a pull up bar, but those are good accessory movements. And I hope that helps you go from zero to one, give it time and maybe two or four or six weeks of this stuff before you can finally, you know, go. Right? So that's all. <laughs>